Hi guys, it's me again, Vanita, and this is Forever TV, and I'm very excited to show you what we're going to be printing today. As you know, we just launched 17 new hot stamping foils, and they come in different styles and colors and patterns, so everyone will find their taste. Knowing that the metallic look is so popular at the moment, I thought we're going to refine a mug using my favorite hot stamping foil, which is that rainbow colored one. It has pattern inside and beautiful colors. So before we start, I would like to introduce you to our 17 new hot stamping foils. As you see, we've got a bunch of different patterns from animal prints to hearts, as well as rainbow, metallic or holographic colors. For those who want to know what printing system you need to use Forever's hard stamping foils, with a regular sublimation printer, you'll be able to refine light to dark colored cotton fabrics. With a CMYK laser printer, you'll be able to refine cotton to blend fabrics, as well as substrates that have a smooth and solid surface. One of them being mugs. To refine mug designs with hot stamping foil, you'll need Forever Multitrans, which is a transfer media for smooth and solid surfaces and substrates. So, if you like to watch this tutorial video first, I'm going to link it down in the description box. It's for those who want to dive deep into this topic before watching this video. Meanwhile, I'm going to explain to you how to use Multitrans in that process when you want to use hot stamping foil afterwards. Make sure to choose a monochrome design that we will be printing mirrored with our CMYK laser printer. You can choose between the different available sizes. Just make sure it has 400% black, CMYK black. So choosing the A4 size makes it possible to print three to six mug designs. Please prepare the following items, which is a bowl of cold water, the heat press, heat resistant tape, a scissor, silicon mat, a mug, your favorite hot stamping foil, matte finish economy and some tissues. Before we start, I make sure to turn the mug press on using 140 degrees Celsius and a very high pressure. You need to check the pressure by inserting a mug and closing the mug press. Now that we've prepared everything, I'm going to cut the transfer media into the required size. place it onto the mug, I'm using heat resistant tape, making sure nothing moves. After that, we wrap the silicone mat around and insert it into the press. The transfer process takes 180 seconds. It depends on which mug press you use. This one only starts the process as soon as the temperature is reached with the mug inside. If your mug press doesn't have this function, please wait another 30 to 60 seconds. After the time is up, carefully put the mug into the cold water. It should be completely cooled off before we start to peel it. I then take it out and carefully scratch the tape off. You probably won't see much because the design is black, but I see that the design transferred perfectly. Now we can prepare everything for the second transfer process. Choosing the hot stamping foil, I'm cutting it into the right size so it's covering my design. Make sure that you have enough space for your heat resistant tape because it would affect the transfer. For the extra protection, I cut a piece of matte finish economy to cover the transfer area and wrap the silicone mat around, using the same settings but only a shorter transfer time of 60 seconds.
As we're waiting, let me give you some advice that I've learned during testing these parameters. Always make sure that your heat resistant tape never covers your design, otherwise it will prevent the needed temperature on that certain spot. Further, please make sure your hot stamping foil when you're fixing it isn't wrinkled. It will show onto your finished transfer and then you will have a striped hot stamping foil pattern. Now that the time is up, we carefully put the mug into the cold water and wait until it cools off. Then we can easily peel the foil off, leaving us with the metallic effect. Any excess can be removed by using a tissue and isopropanol. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. All the information can be found on the description box down below. I try to link everything as well as the product names of the hot stamping foils. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'm glad to answer them later and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!